Hey everyone and welcome to DIY Drone Part 1. Uh, this is an introduction to my new video series where I'll be teaching you guys how to design and build your own racing drone. First of all, I just want to remind you guys to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more of these videos. It lets me know that you guys want to see more and it helps me stay motivated to keep creating content. It's going to be a multi-part series uh, going through the whole design and build process right up to testing the drone and if you guys follow along, you'll be able to build your own. So if, if you've seen any of those racing drone videos on YouTube, you'll know just how exhilarating it looks and can be. It's a rapidly growing uh, global phenomenon and it's only gonna get bigger. So the thing that really got me interested in drones was the uh, crossover with 3D printing and the potential for, and the potential. I had a micro quad that my dad bought me for Christmas and I had a lot of fun flying that thing around the lounge room and uh, once it had crashed into the wall a few too many times I thought why don't I design and build my own casing for it and that actually just developed into this obsession with building my whole drone from scratch. So the relationship between drones and 3D printing is becoming more and more popular and it makes me really excited to be exploring that. Um, so early on. Uh, and I know it's going to get much bigger and much more popular worldwide so I highly recommend uh, giving it a go for yourself. Uh, first of all if you're brand new to drones I've got a whole bunch of links down in the description and they will help you understand you know the different components and the different uh, aspects of drone flight and then from building my own drone I've learned a lot more and that's what I hope to teach and pass on to you guys so so give that a read first it'll be very helpful and you'll, you'll know a lot more about what's going on so this is my first prototype that is called the Holmes flight drone it is available for free on Thingiverse uh, I would highly recommend that you download and build it yourself and give me some feedback on it I think it's been downloaded about 200 times now and I haven't seen one built so I want to hear what you think and I'm going to use everything I learned from building this, this prototype and putting that into my, my new design. It's really easy to assemble. Uh, I've got a video on my YouTube of showing you how to assemble it in less than three minutes and from there you just have to put in the electronics and it's good to go. So there are a few cons with this design which I'm going to remedy in the new one. Uh, mainly the structural integrity, it's at about the limit of what this format can withstand so a unibody design is going to be much much more worthwhile and durable. It is also quite slow to print, uh, each of the components uh, can be printed separately or as a group depending on the size of your printing bed. Uh, for me this takes about 8 hours to print and I would like to be able to print a whole drone in half that time which is what I'm working towards. Okay, so the new design is going to be a 210 size frame. This is a 250, which is very standard, but I feel like for a 3D printed frame, 210 is going to be a lot more compact and therefore durable and faster to print and more portable, of course. So the new design is going to be a 210. It's going to be fully enclosed. I want to have all of my ESCs and wiring hidden in the body. I found a lot of inspiration from Neato Frames, uh, mainly on Instagram, and they build these beautiful, minimal drones with all the wiring hidden, and they look really sleek. And that's kind of that's what I like. Uh, that's very much my style. The body is going to be shallower. This one is quite thick, which makes it easy to build if you're new to it, uh, but it's actually a lot of unnecessary uh, space being used up. By the way, I should mention I've got a camera for this, it's just not mounted at the moment, uh, because I've got a different front plate on there, but I, I do have an FPV camera on there. The video transmitter uh, actually normally sits in here, and the aerial comes out the back, and the battery goes on there. I just thought I should mention that. Also. It's got a space for a GoPro, so basically the GoPro uh, sits in here, just like that. Oh yeah, this is broken. Uh, I haven't fixed it from my last crash, just ignore that. So once again, 
if you want to see more of these videos uh, and you want to follow along with the series, make sure you subscribe to my channel. It's going to let me know that you do want to see more and obviously the more people who subscribe, the more motivated I'm going to be to produce these videos. Also, if there's anything you disliked about the video, uh, make sure you tell me in the comments. Don't just hit that dislike button because that's not going to help anyone. So let me know and that way I can fix it for next time. I hope that this printer hasn't been, I hope that this printer hasn't been too distracting. Uh, it's just printing some spare parts for itself at the moment. Likewise, if there's anything you really like or you want me to go into more detail with, let me know in the comments. So I look forward to seeing you guys in part two. Uh, there I'm going to be showing you the initial steps to 3D modeling your drone from the measurements to the layout and different configurations you can decide on and we will be 3D modeling the drone itself. So look forward to that and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks guys, see you later.